20 years after her disappearance, police are hoping a new age progression photo of Maura Murray will help them crack her cold case. 22 News anchor Taylor Knight explains where this investigation currently stands. This picture behind me here is an FBI analysis and projection of what Maura Murray might look like today, released exactly two decades after the day she disappeared. Murray was 21 years old on February 9th of 2004 when she left her dorm room at UMass Amherst, where she was a nursing student. She was heading for New Hampshire after telling her professors she had a family emergency, but her parents say there was no emergency and still don't know why she was going north. She never made it to her destination and her car was found crashed on Route 112 in Haverhill, New Hampshire. 911 transcripts show a call from a man driving by a few minutes later. He said that she was shaken up and the airbags had deployed with heavy damage, but she refused any help. By the time an officer got there, the car was locked and there was no sign of her. After 20 years of searches and candlelight vigils, there are still no solid leads or answers here. Her family and investigators have never given up searching, though, with their efforts continuing today. Last year, her family put up billboards. The FBI has issued a nationwide alert on her case and her DNA profile has been entered into the FBI database. And now they're hoping this age progressed picture will generate new leads and tips on her cold case. Anyone with information about Murray is asked to call the New Hampshire cold case unit. We have that contact information up on our website, WWLP.com. Working for you, Taylor Knight, 22 News.